This afternoon, police are looking for answers after a double shooting in a Staten Island apartment building. A grandmother was killed and a man was injured. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge spoke to the woman's son and has more from the Fox Hill section. Well, Chris, it was early this morning when police say they received a call that two people were shot in a unit inside this apartment building. We just spoke to some family members who showed up here in total disbelief. She didn't deserve to go this way. Jeffrey Mason is trying to comprehend why someone would kill his mother. He identified as 61-year-old Nadine Mason inside her own home. I don't know who or who the person was or for what reason it was for. You know, but for, to lose somebody so tragically like this, it's, it's heartbreaking. Police say a man who they believe knew the residents entered the apartment at 260 Park Hill Avenue and shot the 61-year-old woman in the head. She was pronounced deceased. Officers say a 43-year-old man was also shot in the shoulder. He is stable at a local hospital. Police believe he was also living at the home. Neighbors tell us he was a friend. The young man, I know him. He's from my building, but evidently he'll be all right. I guess he'll be able to tell the story better than anybody can. It's sad. My heart goes out to her kids and her family. The woman's son says he doesn't know the 43-year-old living with his mom and has no idea who the suspect is or what the motive could be. He says his mother used a walker, kept to herself, and mostly looked after her grandkids. He hasn't had the heart to tell them yet. The hardest thing for this is me having to explain to my children that their grandmother's no longer here. You know, saying who she adored. You know, they would come in and spend weekends with her. And she just spoiled him to death. Anything they wanted, they got. Police say the suspect fled. They called a large search of this area this morning. So far, no suspect description has been given. In Fox Hill, Staten Island, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.